How to get taste back. The ability to taste wonderful flavors is one of life's great pleasures. Sometimes, because of illness or advancing age, you can lose your sense of taste. This makes it harder to enjoy meals. Don't worry, though, because in many situations the loss of taste is temporary and reversible. With a few simple remedies you will be savoring your meals again in no time. Using home remedies. Give yourself a castor oil massage to relieve sinusitis. To help alleviate sinusitis, and restore your sense of smell and taste, rub about 1 half teaspoon 2.5 milliliters of castor oil mixed with a drop of essential oil like eucalyptus onto your face, using moderate pressure. Start between your eyes, and massage out across your eyebrows toward your ears, then down either side of your nose. Castor oil applied topically can increase blood flow and help drain the sinuses. Your sense of taste and smell are intimately linked, and loss of one can affect the other. That's why you tend to lose your sense of taste when you have a cold, flu, or congestion caused by allergies. Drink hot tea when you're sick. Boil water in a pot or kettle and pour it into a teapot. Add tea leaves or tea bags of the herbal tea of your choice and let it steep for the correct amount of time depending on the kind of tea you're using, usually between 3 and 5 minutes. Drink the tea while it's still hot. You can drink as much herbal tea in a day as you want, but aim for at least one cup a day when you're battling illness. Consuming hot herbal teas when you have a cold helps to thin out the mucus in your nostrils. This restores your senses of smell and taste. The hot flavorful drinks can also stimulate your taste buds. There are many kinds of herbal tea you can try. Chamomile is anti-inflammatory and peppermint is antimicrobial and good for your digestive tract. Both are excellent for helping to fight off illness and ameliorate cold symptoms. Mix garlic with water to fight off a cold. Garlic is a natural antibiotic that helps combat illness. For the most potent remedy, put 1 to 2 cloves of finely minced garlic into a small glass of water and drink it down immediately. Pregnant women should nt take more than one clove of garlic medicinally in a day. You can also add garlic to your meal, which can help perk up your taste buds with its strong flavor. Inhale steam to clear congestion. Boil 1 to 2 cups 240 to 470 milliliters of water in a large pot, and remove from heat. Cover the pot with a lid for 5 minutes, then remove the lid and put your face directly over the pot with a tea towel covering your head to hold the heat in and direct the steam into your face. Breathe the steam in for as long as you can, aiming for up to 15 minutes. If you want you can add 2 teaspoons 9.9 milliliters each of thyme, oregano, and rosemary to the water. You can also try putting 2 cup 120 milliliters of vinegar into the water to help fight off your illness. Rinse out your mouth with oil to maintain oral health. Put 1 to 2 teaspoons 4.9 to 9.9 milliliters of coconut, olive, or sesame oil in your mouth and swish for 20 minutes. The oil will thicken as you swish and should be creamy white when you spit it out. When you're done swishing, spit the oil into your trash can instead of your sink to avoid clogging your pipes. Rinse your mouth out with warm water and brush your teeth. Oil pulling can combat harmful bacteria in your mouth that can impair your sense of taste, and cleanse out bad tastes. Do oil pulling once every morning before eating or drinking anything. Consume cinnamon every day to improve your oral health. You can add cinnamon to many foods and drinks. If you have a cold or flu, put 1 half teaspoon 2.5 milliliters in a cup of tea, with a drop of honey added for sweetness and drink it hot. Cinnamon has many health benefits, including anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. It can help reduce swelling from colds and flus that diminish your sense of taste, as well as prevent tooth decay and gum disease that can affect your ability to taste. Like any food, cinnamon consumed in too large quantities can be bad for your health. Limit yourself to 1 to 2 teaspoons 4.9 to 9.9 milliliters a day and you should be fine if you don't have any underlying medical conditions. Always consult your doctor if you're unsure.